When Mutt said we want to bring in pop, and we were like, great. You know, we loved Queen, we loved the Beatles, the Stone. You know, bands that crossed over into, into the pop realm. Michael Jackson loved Michael Jackson. You know, loved loved Prince, and and that they weren't just R and B artists. They they crossed over, and I think anyone who's massively successful doesn't stay in a box. If you're just going, I'm a rock guy, and I you know. I wear leather and, and this is all I do. You, you're gonna stay in that kind of frame of mind. And, and with Mutt, you'd have George Jones tapes lying around. He's a huge country fan. And uh, you know, like Don Henley's voice, the tone in his voice, which I do as well, I love it. And it's, um, you know, Desperado, all that kind of, that kind of growly thing that, that's in there. And we all have that and we, we kind of, uh, got that from Mutt, just, just be doing that. So yeah, I th any influence really, if it's good, if it's great it, and, and it makes you excited and inspired, then, then you're gonna kind of adopt it. Uh, again, I meet a lot of, lot of bands and they, they kind of shoot themselves in the foot because they, they're just ego driven. And uh, we, we didn't have any of that. It was all thrown out the window. It's like, whatever makes the song great, you know. It's, it's, uh, and going back to that, that whole Beatles thing, it's like, George might, if we, we're gonna put strings on here, we're gonna have a brass band on this section, whatever makes it great. And, and that's what we did and it was just, inspiring and, and amazing to be able to do that, not having these limitations that are, that are based on ego or a genre that you're in. Most people try and fill space, you know, and, and musicians are, are, are great for it, but when, when you have gaps in the music, like Rock of Ages, We Will Rock You by The Queen, you know, it's kind of, there's nothing there until the guitars come, and then when it, when you get to the chorus, it all it kind of hits you, and it, it kind of uh, is an anticipation, an excitement. Pour some sugar on me. Da 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 da. -da. <laughs> Backbeat, snare. You know, it's so important. It you you kind of hook onto it, and then you get to the the pre-chorus, and then by the time you kick in on the chorus, it's like it, it it's all in, and you're you know thrashing on the cymbals, and God knows what. It kind of it's party time. If you write songs based on the song as opposed to the key and, and you've got the melody in mind and, and, and that, that's where you go, then all the other stuff falls into place. You listen to a lot of funk stuff and R&B and it, it, even back in the day people would play like that and, and they'd kind of um, allow the singer and allow the song to, to present itself and you're just backing the song up so I think as a musician a lot of times people forget that and you're, you're just trying to enhance the song. If, you, if you're kind of stepping all over it, you're, you're kind of screwing it up. <laughs>